Hey yo, what's poppin' my fellow music lovers and listeners? Welcome back to Multifaceted Media Entertainment. And uh, I'm disappointed. So, TDE, the home of prominent artists like SZA, Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, announced the return of their very own Isaiah Rashad just a few months ago after being away from the rap game for almost five years. And he dropped like, I think it was three singles teasing us towards what this album was gonna sound like. And that got a lot of people hype, a lot of people were excited, a lot of people couldn't wait until the record finally came out. But Anthony Fantano, one of the most, if not the most, prominent music reviewers, has been pretty vocal about how unimpressed he's been by the singles that Isaiah has been teasing towards the album with. Which is fine, right? He's literally a music critic. That's what he does. That's how he earns a living. So eventually the album came out and Anthony reviewed it, gave his thoughts and opinions on the album and ended up giving it a 5 out of 10. Which was met with a lot of backlash by Isaiah Rashad fans, obviously. Which is understandable, I guess. I know that a lot of people don't like having their ideas or their opinions challenged. But I mean, if you don't, then don't click on a review of someone giving their opinion on a particular thing that you like. Because it could go either way. But uh, Isaiah Rashad took it upon himself to respond to Fantano's ratings in a tweet that goes like this. So, first of all, a uh, fan of seemingly both Isaiah and Fantano tweeted at Anthony asking, where is the review of Isaiah Rashad's new album? To which Fantano replied, it's out. To which Isaiah Rashad replied saying, it's not experimental enough to excite him, basic enough to make him laugh, and too black for him to identify. My public persona isn't something to deconstruct so he doesn't have much to review. I'm guessing it's just for views if anything. And honestly reading this statement just makes me wonder how much of Fantano's reviews he's actually sat down and taken in. I mean the mere fact that he said too black for him to identify. Uh, have you seen his review of Jay-Z's 444, where he gave that album an 8, which was even more so focused on black history and black struggle than your project. Did you see his review of an artist on your own label, Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City, where he gave that a 9 out of 10, which was even more black struggle focused than your project as well, Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly, which is even more black focused than all of the albums that I've listed so far, and he gave that one a 10 out of 10. But then again, the fact that you said it's not experimental enough to excite him does kind of make me feel like you do watch if even a few of his reviews. Because right there, you're making a statement about the type of music that he likes, which you wouldn't be able to do if you haven't at least watched some of his reviews. Or maybe you're just gathering all this information based on what he said about your album in particular. But anyways, bringing race into this was supremely unnecessary and it just makes you seem uh, very butthurt. And like you're just mad that he didn't give your album a 10 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10 or something like that. And that statement is easily countered by the fact that he has given prominent black focused music a lot higher reviews in the past. So yeah, that was just not necessary. You see, the thing that you have to understand about music reviewers is that they listen to a lot of music. So the things that might excite your core fans may not excite them because they've listened to such a wide variety of music that you know, they've heard that style done better numerous times before. Unlike your core fans who may not be familiar with such a wide variety of music. But anyways, what disappointed me the most was not really what Isaiah Rashad said, but what IDK, a fellow rapper, rushed to Twitter to say in Isaiah Rashad's defense. And he said, 
I watched a bald white man review a friend of mine's album and about the black experience and he said so many things that let me know how much of a disconnect he has to the experience that was spoken about. A bald white man. I mean, how was that description relevant? How was it in any way, shape or form adding to the message that you were trying to convey here? Just seems to me like you're trying to throw out cheap insults. This is almost as bad as when Fantano reviewed Doja Cat's album and she started dissing him about the shape of his head. And oh yeah, wasn't she also dissing him about how bald he was or the fact that he was balding? Is he balding? I don't know. For some reason I just see him as he's balding. He might not be balding. Like maybe he is. He fucking refused to get a haircut while dissing my album and he looks like the all, all that, this is all that fucking symbol. But anyways, IDK's statements here were pretty ignorant proven so by the fact that Fantano's issues with the album did not have much to do with the black experience aspect of the project. He just found it comatose and boring. He found the sound quality of it to be boring to listen to. And to be honest, even though I don't dislike the album as much as he does, I can understand his opinion. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's just his opinion. He has a right to voice those opinions on any platform that he wants and that he so desires. I'm seriously wondering if IDK has watched Fantano's reviews of his music in the past because he has been a fan of IDK's music for quite some time. Or maybe he's just butt hurt that his last project didn't get the kind of rating that he wanted himself but anyways as i said guys bringing race into this was not necessary at all it just makes you guys seem very butthurt and ignorant and uh, it's it's really disappointing as a black person to hear that artist that i listen to that i am a fan of come up with this kind of reasoning it's it's really sad I actually like and agree with how Fantano has addressed some of the criticisms that have been thrown his way uh, in light of this whole situation here, as I'll be sure to put on the screen so you guys can see. But uh, yeah, what do you think about this whole situation? Are you on Isaiah Rashad's side, IDK's side? Let me know and let me know why in the comment section below. Also leave a like, hit subscribe button for more content like this coming in the near future. Multifaceted media sign now. Oh yeah, and I just found it funny how your take is that this white man should not be allowed to have an opinion on your music, yet you let this white man's opinion uh, offend you so much or move you so much that it triggered you to make such an elaborate response. But uh, yeah, I just found that kind of funny. But yeah, I'm out.